Good day once again. This is once again the mail of it to Filipinas from Digo City. So I just finished my demo unit of my very unique with it again. This is the one that I promised to my co-admin which is so Filipinas that I'm going to make to make a very unique it to them it can light a uh, 12 volt 12 volt bar and it can also drive another cell this one without any power supply so look at what the means I have done of making this gen so Sorry for that. So once again, our setup is the battery charger. We have there our DC amp meter, digital. We have here a 12 volt bulb. Our battery. So let us see. Uh, we are going to hook the the wires. See, so like that. <clears throat> this one. So from our amp meter there to the it is again. So let's going to plug this one the power source out to the bubbler that one. Uh, let's see. See? Uh, let's turn it on. So our digital amp meter registers 0.56 amps and it is the 0.56 amps so point fifty six amps let's crank it more so the output is increasing and that is 0.80 amps no less than that let's bring it to 1 amp see 1.5 now and that is the output 1.5 see that 1.5 amps and let's let's crank it more so the output now is very much and 3 amps ah, so that is the output of 3 amps so let us lower it down So now, I would like to name, to call this gen as the true zero current leak cell. Why this is the true zero current leak cell? Because a true current leak cell, a, to, a true zero current leak cell will hold a charge because there is no current leak. So to prove that, We are going to use this one and this one also. A motorcycle tail light with two parallel bulbs there to see if it still have a charge after detaching the power source. So let's turn this power source off and detach everything. This one detach the positive 
we touch the negative so now the H hydrogen is detached and to show that it has no no other maybe somebody will think ah there is power supply below it's show everyone that there is no nothing below so it's see the hose is detached the all the power cord is detached and let's try to lift it up so so th this is it no huh? no no more hidden power cord so let's bring it back there and to show that this has a charge let's use this one put it its output hose there into the water that like that and let's put the positive side into the positive region like this it's hard to do a video like this one without uh, an assistant but just bear with me so let's put the negative side of the gen to the negative also and the positive of this one is going to be to the positive also this one and let us see so the H H O gen produces H H O gas see that this one produces H H O gen we just this one see that let's lift it up maybe there is, somebody will say that there has power source behind below no no power source detached already from the power supply this one and look at it it's still producing it is producing a it is a gas from this one well, mm, let's detach this one and try another let's put a bulb this one let's put one side to this one other side negative for a while just bear with me so the negative will be oh, it's hard to do this alone it's hard to do this alone See? the two bulb lights and the stop light the red one detach then the two bulb see see that detach switch on detach switch on detach switch on see I can even use a what we call this an inverter it's like Daniel Dingen says we can use an inverter but uh, unfortunately this inverter of mine has no power output I do not know why but 
it can still it can still uh, distribute I mean display power power on let us see because it has an indicator there let us see let's try to power it on see see that see that that is a 500 watts panther inverter see that one switch it off power on so it can power power inverter it can drive AC so to anyone that is interested in this design I am selling this one to everyone who wanted to explore and experiment more by this one this is just my prototype and I am selling uh, the units to everyone you can just contact me on at 09302465975 and we are going to talk for the amount for the price of this one so once again it has no power it has no power attached power supply see that no power supply this is the true current leg cell and let us Put again our to see if uh, if it has an output. Let's slide. So it has. So the power is back. Uh, look at it. It is below one amp. Let's try to crank it more. See that one. So, I have an idea to harness the power of this gen. A very good idea, very nice. Uh, so, when this gen is running, of course, it produces uh, an electrical charge. So, how do we can use the electrical charge by not twisting them we're going to install an ordinary it to then and couple with another its output to this output and this one the gen this one will be the primary gen and this one will be the secondary gen you should connect a uh, secondary switch a uh, pedal switch when it's on idle this one is off and this is on and when in it it is on rev this will be turned on by the pedal switch so the power of this one the power of this one came from this one this is the primary cell and this is the secondary cell controlled by a pedal switch so I do not know if I can light 
the output. I'm sorry for that because I am alone. But let's try. Increase it more. Let us see. I have here a mat. See? So, it's hard. It's hard to do it alone. But, let's try it again. One more time. See? That is, it's, it's a gas. So, good day everyone. For those interested, just contact me on my cell phone number. Good day.